Hi guys, it's DJ here from CozyRC. Welcome to part 2 of the Shrimp Rigger build, the cheapest way to go fast. In this episode we're going to build the tub, the sponsons and we're going to mount the servo. So let's go! We got the tub sides glued, including the reinforcements. So this is the left and this is the right, like this. We now reach the stage where we are going to mount some supporting brackets from the right side to the left side of the tub. This is the front bracket, which goes here. And uh, I just put them now loosely before I glue them. This is the original motor mount, but I read some comments that it is not very strong. so. I copied it in carbon fiber over here and uh, this is just a two millimeter plate carbon fiber and I cut it so it's an exact copy and we're going to place it over here in this slot like that this is the original servo plate but my servo is too big for this cutout and I also read some comments on the servo plate that it is not very strong so I also copied this one in carbon fiber over here and I made it slightly bigger of course I made a bigger cutout and therefore I also made it a little bit wider see so the this dimension is bigger to fit the bigger servo so we're going to put this one in the back over here like so and uh, it's a little bit loose because I made this one from one millimeter carbon fiber instead of I think this is 1.5 please make sure that you position these plates correctly for example I actually put this one the wrong way around it should be like this and the servo plate with the servo over here yes that's correct so we're going to glue them into place and i'm going to use ca glue for that i'm also going to make sure that i glue them square and perpendicular so i'm using my angle tool i don't know how you call this in english sorry
progressing nicely with the shrimp. I uh, mounted the deck supports underneath the deck. I don't yet glue it on because without the deck I can easily mount the motor and the stuffing tube, the servo, etc. We now came to the stage to assemble the sponsons. This is a rib that's inside of the sponson. And this is basically the first rib on the booms. And these are the ribs to hold the assembly together. So I think it goes like this. Yes. This one over here. Nice. And then this one, I think, is like this. So what I'm planning to do is to make the sponsons a little bit narrower. So I will cut away a little bit from these ribs. So the total assembly becomes a bit more narrow. And I'm doing that because this boat will be very light with a LiPo setup. And it doesn't need so wide sponsons. And uh, it will also reduce the resistance on the water and hopefully making it faster. I'm going to narrow the sponsons with 10 millimeter. So I'm measuring 10 millimeter from this edge. And then I will make a line and cut these ribs 10 millimeters shorter. So this is the bottom piece of the sponson and of course this also needs to be narrowed by the same 10 millimeters from the straight edge. So we're going to make a line and then we're going to cut it.
right, so I got these sponsons nearly done. They look pretty good. The PU foam feel works pretty nicely. It also adds some strength to the sponsons, so I really like it. Just uh, I have to add the top and the back side, and then they are basically finished. What I don't really like is that the sides run all the way uh, flush with the bottom. I would have liked the sides to be supported by the bottom, so basically that you don't have this seam over here, but that the seam would be over here. So maybe I'm going to uh, add a very small plate here, because I know from my previous shrimp rigger that at some point this seam busted open. Anyway, I'm planning to glass these with 50 grams per square meter glass weave. So that will also add strength and a nice uniform uh, surface. So that might be enough. I got the sponsons finished. It was not difficult to build them, but you just have to take care that if you use CA glue, the plates of course will bond immediately, so you have to align them well. But uh, turned out nice. It starts to look like a rigger now. I like the narrowed sponson design. It looks more sleek. Let's talk about the servo. This is the servo that I was planning to use. It's a 21G and um, I specifically made this carbon plate for it, which I showed in the beginning of the video. So this is the original plate for the servo. This is the modified one because my servo was too big for this cutout. And now I realize why, <laughs> because I made this plate and it fits perfectly for this big servo. Like so, but when I put it in the boat like this, the issue is that this servo is just too high. So when I put uh, something flat like this sand block, you see that the lever just fits under the wood or actually just not fits under the wood. This is not going to work. This servo is just too big. Then I bought this one, the 12G. That means the weight in grams. So this is a 12 gram. This is a 21 gram servo. And yeah, it's quite a bit smaller. And actually, when I take the original servo plate and this servo, now I realize why this cutout was this dimension. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but there we go. This servo fits perfectly height-wise. This servo will be no issue at all in the boat. Yeah, this is just perfect. Fits under there without any problem. But this modified servo plate, this carbon plate, now has a too big of a cutout. So what I will do, I will make a small carbon fiber bracket and put it underneath so I can clamp the servo on both sides. I also epoxy coated the deck, both the top and the bottom. 
Once you install the deck, you cannot access this side anymore. So please make sure that you coat it before you attach it to the hole. Something like this. Yeah, starts to look pretty good now. I also added a reinforcement in this sponson over here on the inside. I put a three millimeter hard ply bracket, which has this shape. And that is for installing the turn fin. Before I attach the deck, I will give the inside also an epoxy coating. Then I'm going to install the motor and then I can bend the brass tube for the correct alignment of the flex shaft. And I will also add a rear ski, just like ironclad and H2O mechanic from about here to here. Just a single ski to support the flex shaft. And it will help to raise the backside from this uh, rigger out of the water. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!